Namma Bangalore once the city of gardens and lakes now million people and counting there is a greater demand for resources which is keeping the city's food security systems under a great deal of pressure delivery apps have made it easier for us to track our meal you know where our food's coming from and what's really in it to feed this frenzy our vegetables and fruits are being laced with staggering amounts of nature's narcotics pesticides and insecticides these are the vegetables produced by the farmers in the outskirts which circulate throughout the city to fulfill its demand if not catered to properly these same vegetables return to the outskirts as waste forming a vicious cycle we lose around 30 to 35% of farm produce by the time it even reaches our plate what a waste right but wait a second not all waste is wasteful Bangalore produces 4000 tons of solid waste every single day. About 60% of this waste is biodegradable. Now, what if I told you that there was a way to turn this waste into compostable matter to give us non-toxic pesticide-free food grown within the city of Bangalore itself? Well, fortunately for us, I to figure this out. out. My name is Anselm Rosario. I represent an organization called Maitri Sarva Seva Samiti Bangalore. We are at Maitri's project location called Maitri Manasa Sangama. It's a natural farm which is in operation using natural ingredients for the The farm. name Maitri Manasa Sangama means where friendly minds come together. At Manasa we don't want to limit to only compost production. We have obtained three acres of land, and we are demonstrating the application of value-added compost in soil enrichment. At the same time, we wanted to reach as many farmers as possible in the outskirts of the city to get into this regenerative farming practices, so that they can also avoid poison in their production. In short, our ideology. is to ensure public health is protected the livelihood of the farmers is taken care of and we don't harm the environment ecology in which we live in our farm we use mostly the natural ingredients necessary for production we use simple farm machinery that reduces the need for intensive labor inputs we grow not only seasonal uh, agricultural products we also ensure that perennial crops are grown we also demonstrate many farming techniques as aquaponics hydroponics use of recycled water solar lift irrigation nutrient supply appropriate pesticide free technologies for control of pest and disease while augmenting the yield through organic condiments all these things can be introduced for the farmer and we are trying to create a kind of uh, a model over here which uh, not only the farmer the city generators of waste people who are conscious of the health can come and learn uh, at the same time you know contribute their skills and ideas into this farming process if waste in its right form and waste water which is standardized treated properly is sent to the farmers then we are addressing uh, the biggest problem of inputs for the soil at the same time water for irrigation now this will help the farmer to get a continuous flow of resources along with that if we also supply organic inputs so that he need not have to use more chemicals and pesticides in his land he can produce crop without uh, poison in their production lastly we wanted to ensure that waste and wastewater are good resources and we need to channelize this for our own food security we envision a future where there are a number of maitri manasa sangamas around large cities in india trying to create positive impact and bring about change